like a dinosaur eating a bird. Yeah, it does. Nara. <laughs> The winter here, the winter was tougher than I imagined it was going to be. Boats were blown away here in the bay. Apparently somebody drowned next to our boat. We had front row seats to the destruction of many, many stray vessels that had fallen off their moorings and blown into other boats or marinas or docks. And my computer almost made it through the deluges that came through here until some certain individuals, who will not be named, uh, borrowed my computer for the night to listen to music and left it under a leaky porthole. I'm so ready to leave this place, and yet we've met lots of good people here who have helped us out in so many ways, and it's gonna be sad. I'm gonna miss them. It's going to be sad to sail under the gate one last time. To keep morale high, we cooked what we could. Everybody's coming around. Oh. Justin, how about you pick up the slack and so Scott can uh, help uh, Francis pick my fat ass up. There are one million small tasks that we had to tackle before going out onto the open coast. Some final adjustments at the top of the mast, like adding a topping lift and a baby stay. And we were almost set in that regard. Uh, pull the rope a bit tighter if you can. Okay, and then like p put the rope together, like pinch it together and, and make a loop about a centimeter in, in length. GoPro stop. As the weather became drier, we tackled the electrical system. We had taken out every last electrical component when we first started renovating Rosa. And now we have a bunch of wires connecting the nav lights, cabin lights, batteries, solar panels, and engine to a home-built switchboard. Oh, fuck! Sorry, that's that. That's it. It's no biggie. It's not flammable. <laughs> it's a little bit flammable, isn't it? Robbie took great care to make the connection safe and watertight with connectors and heat shrink tubing. It was finally time to take Rosa out for the first time with her new rigging and sails. My way with her new crew tagged along. With a new sail. <laughs> hmm. Gotta work on our storage. What a mess. I can 
we're done. Well, there's a few more lights. Why are those lights? So that we can have a honking bright cockpit at night. Our deck. We were heading to Clipper Cove, also known as Treasure Island, and had company from our friend's larger boat as well. On a quiet Monday morning, us three freshly rigged sailboats were out menacing the bay. Then Robbie decided to take the engine apart. Cleaning up the, the housing for the thermostat and we discovered we have a hole in it which we have to get welded. A little penny hole there. Well it's pretty big. And very mild muriatic acid overnight and it exposed a, a flaw in the metal I guess. Oh. Took apart the heat exchanger which we're still getting the bolts for. All those holes were clogged. A lot of them. No, oh, so bad. Bottom half. Was. Not now. To get the housing for a thermostat, we have a new filter for the engine. It's the exhaust flange. exhaust flange. So this is originally what you were going to take out, just because you could see right away that it was possibly yeah. leaking. Yeah. <laughs> White spray. And then when I get to Mexico, I'm gonna remove all the paint. I'm gonna sandblast the engine. And. Actually, bead blast, you know what's sand in there. Remove every single part from the engine, bead blast it, and rebuild the engine. Paint it, in high temp stuff, and in Mexico. These are things you do in Mexico. Our friend Bill from the boatyard donated to us a new spinnaker. 
smaller spinnaker, but it's pretty wide, so it's pretty it good for free spinnaker. Be really safe. Yeah. Great for going on. Light rain, especially with the main on on the other side. It just needs a tiny bit of uh, wrist stitching at the end four corners. And we continued on towards our goal of getting things stored properly in the boat. The weather was showing more and more promise to allow for a departure, and us boat folk were getting restless. These three guys went out for a fishing trip on my way. Robinson, yeah. I can't run both sails in this heading. Yeah. It's not going to fill the other way. Yes, it is. This is exactly like that. Release a bit of the jib now. Release it. Release a bit more. There we go. We don't need a spin at the boat. What are you guys talking about? Oh. I, I think it'll work better if I get up on the bow there. Hold on, hold on. Here's a good one. Here's one. We also made time to test out the galley on Pacific Eagle.
foi. Thank you to each and every one of you out there who makes this possible.